I'm Father John Ganey of the Polish Fathers, and you're watching Psalm Sense. Now, you might think about that the only thing I do in life is Psalm Sense. Well, that's not right. <laughs> uh, on weekends, I'm very fortunate to go down to St. Edward's Parish in um, a little south of, Bo well, quite a bit south of Boston, as a matter of fact. And there I offer Mass and preach on the weekends. And a couple of weeks ago, we were reflecting on the Gospel of Matthew that had the Beatitudes in it. Now, their Matthews are not the popular uh, Beatitudes that we usually think about. We usually think about the ones that are in Luke. Now, there's four of them in Luke, four Beatitudes. And in Matthew, there are ten. So, a little different and obviously set up very differently by each of the narrators of the gospel. But I wondered to myself as I was doing this, or the research around it anyway, I wonder, I wonder if there are any Beatitudes in the Psalms. So I looked it up and I'll be doggone, yes, there are. There are Beatitudes in the in the Psalms, and therefore in the Old Testament, which shows the flow of history in all our readings and the things that God says. Now, what's the difference between Matthew's uh, Beatitudes and Luke's Beatitudes? Well, we'll just cover a little bit of what Matthew is about. First thing is, Jesus goes up a mountain. Now, the last time somebody in the Bible that you can think of easily talked with God, where did he go? He went up the mountain. You remember him, his name was Moses. So here is Jesus, the new Moses. And he is doing the same thing that was given to Moses. He is in that sense, giving blessings to the people. And so the Beatitudes really are blessings. And when we go to the Psalms, what do we hear? Psalm 32 begins this way. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Blessed, the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. What a wonderful gift that we read about in Psalm 32. It is God speaking to us and telling us that we are blessed if we follow his way of life. Isn't that a grand thing to know in this crazy world that we live in, that we are blessed when we follow the Lord God? I think it's a wonderful way to reflect upon how our Old Testament, our Hebrew scriptures, and our New Testament, or the stories about Jesus, are so much akin one to the other. And so I thought we'd reflect on that, the fact that Moses went up the mountain and spoke a beatitude. And Jesus went up a mountain and spoke a beatitude there too. And rather than reading all 10 of the beatitudes, I will just do one. Blessed are the merciful, the, the gospel writer says. Blessed are the merciful, they will be shown mercy. I think that's a great way to think about God and God's love for us. That if we are merciful with other people, God will be merciful with us. For some sense, I'm Father John Ganey. My time is up. I thank you 
for yours. Thank you.